All right, so it's Friday. Um, it's about 8 a.m., so it's really not that early, but I woke up at 7, and I was just really, really tired. Um, didn't want to get up. Obviously, I can go later in the day, or I could even go in the middle of the day, to be honest with you, um, if I'm not too busy with work. But I told myself I was going to go this morning, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, you know, if you start making excuses early in the morning, or you start, like, cutting corners early in the morning, what do you think is going to happen later in the day? And then guess what? Like, two days later, a day later, everything else is just going to fall apart as well. And then pretty soon, you know, you're not going to be doing anything that you said you're going to be doing. And that's just not a good habit to get into. Um, I've been there. I've had that, you know, a lot throughout my life where I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this, and I just don't do it. So I'm, like, really trying to, you know, change that, which is hard, but it is doable. So for this voiceover, I want to talk about kind of what my training has looked like recently. Um, I probably mentioned it in one of my videos, but I've been doing strength days to start the week. And then I finish up the week with more accessory, like volume based training. So it's kind of like I'm getting the best of both worlds. My body personally reacts really, really well to it. Um, and I advise anybody to try it out and just see if it works for them. I always warm up with these. They're called like shoulder dislocations. You got to be careful with it. I move really quick with it, which I think it's just because like I do them every single day basically. So I kind of know that, you know, my shoulders can handle them. But a lot of people don't have that mobility or flexibility. So just take it slow. Go, you know, one, like one little piece at a time uh, and just kind of just try to progress with it as far back as you can go. These are, I don't know exactly what these are called. It's like a pull to a press type of movement. Really good for just warming up my rotator cuffs. I always do these before every workout, except for legs. Um, and then I always do this. I always do lat pull downs uh, just to pump a lot of blood flow in my lats, whether I'm benching, whether I'm doing back day, whether I'm doing shoulder day, whatever it is, upper body wise. I, I wouldn't do this again. Uh, obviously with legs, but with anything upper body, I'm using a lat pull down to start with just to get a lot of blood flow. Um, and I, you know, thankfully knock on wood, I haven't been injured in a really, really long time, but it just so happens that I haven't been injured ever since I started doing these uh, warm up techniques. Take your warm up seriously because it's very, very important. Another thing that I do is you'll see I kind of like pyramid up to my working sets. So obviously this is my working set. Um, I do like five reps or so, then I add. So here we're doing 95 pounds. Probably do like three reps or something, five re or four reps. And then I rack it and then I put on the next weight. And then I think this was actually one of my very first sets. Um, but as you can see, I kind of like work my way up, especially for the first ex like big exercise for the day. I would certainly recommend that you do that just so that you you know, don't risk any injury. Um, and then from that point forward, your body's pretty much already warmed up, especially your shoulders, for example, in this uh, instance or in this workout. So I did um, three sets of eight, actually, with 145. And I was pretty pleased with the performance that I had on this day. Um, it was a really good workout overall, and I felt like pretty strong. So I'm really glad that I felt that strong. I haven't done OHP in forever, but I haven't really lost any strength with it, to be honest with you. I haven't gotten a whole lot weaker with OHP. I think before I got up to like 165 for sets of like six, I want to say, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but I feel like that is accurate. Um, so I'm just kind of working my way back. These are dumbbell lateral raises. So I did three sets of 10 on these pretty heavy dumbbell lateral raises. Um, so yeah, it, I, I sway a little bit on them, which, you know, form check me or whatever, but I know how to execute the movement. Um, and as long as you feel comfortable with the weight in your hands, that's really all that matters. But with that being said, don't, you know, ego lift and try to do crazy amounts of weight and just hurt yourself. Same thing for these. I'm doing dumbbell front raises. Um, relatively heavy i didn't go too heavy on these just because i haven't done these in a while um and you know like i keep saying i really don't want to risk injury so i just kind of got the technique down and then the very last exercise actually 
um, was a rear delt fly with this machine. Um, again, I'm going pretty light on this. I'm not going to lie, but that's just because I haven't, you know, I haven't had a whole lot of rear delt activation in the past couple of months just because I haven't really been training them that much. So I really don't want to put too much stress on them to where they like get shot out and I just injure myself. That's the last thing I want. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you later. All right. I am probably way overexposed right now, but we just finished up the gym. We hit a shoulder day, as you guys saw. It was obviously more strength focused. Um, we hovered around, I think every single set was like eight reps. So what I've been trying to do is I do like four main exercises. Uh, so you saw I did OHP standing. Um, and then I did uh, dumbbell lateral raises. And then I did dumbbell front raises and then I finished up with the rear delt fly, which I actually went really light on those because recently I have not been feeling those whatsoever. Um, and yeah, it's just, I'm trying to like get back I'm trying to get like that contraction back in my rear delts because I feel like that's a really, really small muscle and it's a really hard muscle to activate sometimes, especially when you uh, take some time off of the gym or rather take time off of training them like I did. But anyways, really good workout. So obviously more strength focused like I mentioned. Um, so we're kind of focusing on power and we're focusing on a little bit higher well, I should be focused on higher rest times, but I tend to gravitate towards not taking more rest times. I kind of, because I'm always in a hurry, I've always got like, you know, a call or something going on like soon. Um, like when I'm, when I'm like working out, I always got like a call coming up or something. So I'm trying to like squeeze in a workout in the morning. But back to what I was saying this morning when you're like, say you're gonna do something and then you just end up not doing it I've been there I've done that so many freaking times and I feel like that was like the anthem or like the the, the most common trend of my past year um, I think you know graduating college was awesome but it also like it also like activated a part of me that I didn't like because I no longer had like any structure in life and while I've always had structure, like self-structure, and I know how to, you know, create my own plans and routines and stuff like that, I just, it's so easy to, like, fall, I guess, and, like, not, not basically do what you're supposed to be doing, or, you know, not doing what, like, the, the stuff that you need to be doing um, to, like, make yourself better or to, you know, get closer to your goals or whatever it might be. Um, it's really easy to fall off that path especially when you don't have structure and that's when you gotta just like take the mature decision and be like alright I'm done with this you know I'm gonna write out what I need to get done for the day or I'm gonna write out goals just to keep myself centered or whatever it might be if I, you know for me obviously it was the goals and it was the you know writing things out and then it's also waking up early and training in the morning because it gets the the day started well um, and like it, uh, I have more energy to, like I, I've got a lot of energy when I first start the day. I gotta roll these windows up, sorry. When I first start the day, jeez. Um, I gotta get the AC on then, cause I'm gonna start cooking. Man, these people probably think I'm driving drunk. Um, but so yeah, I mean it's like, it's so, it's so important just to like, take a step back from where you're at and just figure out like what is it that like is not going well or what 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 is it that you can eliminate or add in your routine or in your schedule or whatever to you know get you closer or to i like either make you feel better or to like make you uh you know bring you closer to your goals and for me it was those aspects so just something to think about so on top of my weight training, I also do cardio and I do core every single day. <clears throat> I normally do it uh, after work. Sometimes I'll do it in the middle of the work if I have like a little window of time. But I do cardio. I do about 15 minutes of cardio. I shoot for about four miles for a bike ride. Um, and then I do these. Well, I, I do whatever core exercises I really come and think of uh, off the spot basically. Um, but... 
<clears throat> sometimes I'll do specific ones based on like what I need to improve on or what I feel like I need to improve on. Um, but it just honestly kind of just varies. So I did those crossover crunches. Those I did three sets of 10 on each side. Um, and then here I'm doing mountain climbers. I believe I did 15 each leg. Uh, I did three total sets of that. These are really, really good. Um, especially if you kind of take it slow. I'm even taking it a little bit quick here, too fast here. But if you take it a little bit slower, it's really good. If you just focus on squeezing your core, you don't want your back to arch up at all. You want it to be completely linear with the floor or parallel with the floor. Um, and then finally, I did these hanging leg raises. I'm swaying a bit, so it's not the prettiest of movements. Honestly, I'm not ex executing it all that well, but um, I don't know. I guess it's just the way it is. I mean, I felt it in my abs, so I guess that's really all that matters anyways. But I did three sets of 15 on those, um, and that's actually going to be completely it for this video and for the workout. So like I said, <clears throat> I do my weights in the morning normally around like 7 or so a.m um i'll work pretty much for the day and then sometimes i'll find a spot throughout the day to uh like a little wind time space of window that i don't have you know too much going on and i'll fit in that cardio and i'll fit in that core um but other than that i normally just or you know if that doesn't happen normally i will have uh my core my cardio be done a little bit later in the afternoon around like 5 p.m 6 